Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this video we're going to be covering the product offerings by GetStream.io. So just a quick disclaimer, they have reached out to me directly to create these videos and this is indeed a sponsored video. Cool. So with that out of the way, let's dive in and have a look at their product offerings and how they can benefit us as Go developers. Now the first product offering that we'll be covering is the chat messaging offering. Now this chat offering is effectively an underlying API that you can leverage within your applications that helps you quickly and easily create production ready chat systems for your products. Now, when you're building out production ready systems that handle live user data, it can be incredibly difficult to ensure that you're following all of the latest and greatest security requirements and ensuring that you're up to say SOC 2 compliant standard. Now, thankfully, this product offering has that already built into it. Now, not only are they incredibly secure, but they're also incredibly resilient and scalable. And as you can see here, they can support up to 5 million plus concurrent connections in a single channel without any issues, which is phenomenal. So alongside these features, they have some fantastic docs that will allow you to quickly and easily get up and running with this service, no matter what framework or technology you tend to use for your applications. Now, as this is a Go channel, or predominantly a Go channel, I should say, we will be taking a look at how we can build a couple of simple projects using this service, using the Go SDK that they have and the Go documentation. Now, the second product offering that GetStreamIO provide is the activity feed. Now, this activity feed offering will allow you to build in activity feeds into your own applications with minimal fuss. And again, it provides you a lot of the same advantages that the chat offering provided you in terms of scalability and things like security. Now, one of the potential use cases that I would quite like to explore in the next couple of months is potentially adding an activity feed to my own site, which will highlight the users that have completed, say, challenges that are available. Cool. So now that we've covered the offerings, it's time to dive into the costings. Now, what is this going to cost? Am I going to have to donate a kidney in order to use these services? Well, thankfully, the answer is no. They have a very generous free for makers offering, which if your company has five or less team members, less than 10K in monthly revenue, and has taken less than 100K in funding, you can use these product offerings for free and you can set up your maker account today, which is fantastic. Now, GetStream.io actually lose money for every one of these maker accounts that they offer to customers. Now, the intention for this is they help you to improve your product and offer things like the activity feed and the chat app with the hope that you're going to grow into a more successful company. And as such, the pricing bands will then start to grow with you. Now, for the activity feed, for example, we can have a look at the starter cost, which is $59 a month. And that includes up to 5 million monthly feed updates or 400,000 API calls. Now, for the chat messaging offering, the pricing is slightly higher. And you can see that it starts at $499 a month and then grows up to $1,299 and $2,299. And then should you ever exceed any of the limits within this, then congratulations, you've got a phenomenally successful company and you'll be able to talk to them about the enterprise pricing to suit your needs. Cool, so now that we've covered the pricing and the product offering, it's time to dig a little deeper into the code and see what we can do with Go and GetStream.io. Cool. So as you can see here, we have an example of an activity feed that has been created for us already. And we've also got the code that we need in order to effectively append new activity to this activity feed. Now, as you can see, it starts off by importing the package for GetStream.io. We can then create a client using the stream.new client function and pass in the API key and the API secret. And we can also specify the region that we wish our API to operate in. Now, once we've got this, we can get the feed that we wish to 
basically interact with. And then once we have that feed, we can then start to add activity to that feed. Now in this example, we add a tweet that basically has a hello world. And when you run this JS, you'll see that the activity feed on the right hand side updates and hello world is appended. Now this code snippet by itself should highlight how incredibly powerful this getstream.io offering is. With very minimal code, we've been able to effectively append to an activity feed that hundreds of clients could potentially um, listen to on the front end. And you can see it's got resiliency, it's got security, it's got all that good stuff baked into it. So we can spend more time focusing on the product that we want to build and how this product will benefit our users as opposed to focusing on the backend implementation of something like this. Now, say we wanted to build some form of Twitter-esque application that allows you to follow other people's activity feeds. Well, GetStream.io allows you to do that with just a few lines of code. Now, you can see here that we fetched the flat feed for Jessica in this example, which you can see on the bottom right of your screen. We've then asked to follow the Eric feed that you can see at the top right. And then let's say we added some new activity to Eric's feed. You can see Eric's feed updates and you can also see that Jessica's updates and we can see that the new video has been posted here. Now, if you follow through the rest of this tutorial, you'll be able to see some more complex examples of how you can use things like flat feeds, aggregated feeds, and say notification feeds. Now, hopefully this gives you an idea of how powerful this is and how exciting it is to be able to do something like this with minimal fuss. Now, that's all we're gonna cover within this tutorial. Now, we've looked at the product offerings for GetStream.io, we've covered the activity and the chat offerings, and we've also had a small look into how we can quickly and easily craft our own functionality such as the flat feeds using the SDK that they have in place. Now over the next couple of weeks and months, I'm hoping to dive a little bit deeper into the functionality that GetStream.io offer and hopefully provide to you some more complex and in-depth video tutorials. So please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more of that good programming content. Cheers.